right. What is up, everybody? We just finished up a drive and then I couldn't get the gimbal to work, but we restarted the stream. What's that? No, no, just for myself. <laughs> no, just for me, man. Yeah, Matthew, the gimbal was freaking crazy there. Sorry about that, everybody. Like, totally sorry. That was funny, that guy asked if, uh, if I was recording for Google Street View. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. All right, now we're working. Sorry about that. Hey, George, what's up? We just had a drive that I thought I was going to smoothly transition into a walk. Didn't go so well. But we're in business now. We're walking uh, down by the University of Kentucky. This is the corner of Maxwell and Upper. And this is uh, Pedal Power. What's up, Rodney? Welcome to the chat. Good to see everybody. And then we've got a cool Mexican restaurant over here, Cinco de Mayo. And right up here is also one of the coolest pizza places in Lexington. Joe Bologna's, Joe Bologna's. And they have giant breadsticks. It's this old church that they've redone into a pizza place. But it's a really popular pizza place down by the university. Been here a long time. Now we're getting to um, kind of the strip of bars down by the university. Starting with a tin roof here. But this should be pretty hopping this week because uh, I believe finals are this week. And people are done with classes for the semester. So we'll go ahead and walk down this street first drunk people who wave at us because we have a camera. What's up, Fox? Good to see you. It's a cool looking Mexican restaurant over here, El Cid. Everybody out partying. Great taco restaurant right here, the local taco. Over here is where the university begins. These are where the, the dorms start. These are all college dormitories over here. And then uh, condos over here. 
but uh, this is my alma mater. This is where I got my degree from, the University of Kentucky. Hey, what's up, Penelope? Matthew says, uh, what is the University of Kentucky known for? And I gotta say, there's one really true answer to that, and then there's also some more. Um, so the first answer is basketball. <laughs> so uh, probably most known for its men's basketball team. The second answer is uh, there's a really good ag school here, agriculture. Also a good business school. Some good music programs as well, and a good law school. But what is it really known for? Basketball. <laughs> this, this CD store has been here since I went to school. And I think I've shown this place in a stream before. It's called Club now, but it used to be called uh, Pazzo's, and it was a pizza place that I used to go to all the time. Right here, and I used to sit right here on the patio after work. And this place right here is called uh, Girls, Girls, Girls Burritos, and it's delicious, like insanely good food. Sports Lounge, I can tell you, is definitely something that was not in existence when I was in school. Esports, an esports team and an esports lounge, definitely not a thing. What's up, Katrina? Welcome. Daryl, welcome back. Sorry about the difficulty. I did that once before, switching a drive to a walk, and it worked fine. I don't know why it didn't work this time. So all these dorms are brand new. They're super pretty. I would have killed to live in something like this. My dorm was, I mean, it was really, really bad. I lived on campus for one year. Yeah, Penelope, uh, I'm really delighted to see you in the chat. Penelope said she's been MIA. Um, it's good to see you. Over here, this is a gym. Uh, used to be kind of, I think, where the men's basketball team practiced a long time ago, and now it's so pretty cool. Four dorm buildings up through this courtyard. And over here, we have the student center for the University of Kentucky. Right over here, we'll cross the street up here in a second, take a peek. And the, the bookstore is over here too. There's nobody here, maybe uh, finals were last week. Maybe that's the case. Maybe finals were last week. So really cool building. And you can see the UK logo here that everybody takes pictures with. Can I show Kim Fizz? Hello, Fahat. 
Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I can show you the Kim Fizz building for sure. Fahad, is that a, are you interested in uh, Kim Fizz or did you actually go to UK and want to see your old stomping grounds? Really, really amazing new buildings here. So I don't think this building is open right now. Maybe it is. Let's check. Looks closed though, doesn't it? Yep, it's closed. So we can't go in right now. Oh, you are coming to join the physics grad program in this fall. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, welcome in advance to Lexington, Kentucky. One of the things I really like about this campus is how many just great places there are to kind of camp out and read and study, talk to people. There's something like 35,000 people who participate on campus. Not all of them live on campus, but I never felt kitchen in here and food court area. We'll check out the UK logo. Maybe this will be our thumbnail. see if we can get in up here. I don't think we'll be able to, but there's a nice patio up here for sitting down. Hey, what's up? Okay, fishing. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. And they've got a fireplace over here. Nice view up here. And you can see there up on top of this dorm, there's a rooftop patio up here. Let me zoom in a little. That's kind of cool. We definitely didn't have any rooftop patios back in the day. All right, we've got a request to go to the Kim Fizz building, so that means we're walking through Central Campus. Uh, I avoided the sciences. I'm sorry to say, I was a English literature major. It's my creative side speaking. I did go and have classes at the Kim Fizz building. Um, I had astronomy and went to the Kim Fizz building for astronomy class. And then I had a part-time job for one semester in the Kim Fizz library made $4.75 an hour. Easiest job I ever had. It is a pretty campus though. 
All right, so we're gonna come up here past these dorms and we're gonna hang a right at Memorial Coliseum. Memorial Coliseum is the building right up here. Hey, Garfield's here. What's up, Garfield? Hope you are doing well. Hope all is well in Hong Kong. Uh, Memorial Coliseum is where the uh, volleyball team plays, the men's basketball team practices, and uh, sometimes the um, uh, the women's team plays over there, and sometimes they play at Rupp Arena. Oh, what's up, Patrick? Good to see you. So yeah, that's uh, Memorial Coliseum. And we can actually head over here. Oh, we got a scooter gang. <laughs> so we'll go look at the front of Memorial Coliseum and we'll look at the art museum and performing arts center. And then we'll head up into the central campus. <laughs> They're doing burnouts on their scooters over there. <laughs> so yeah, this is Memorial Coliseum. That was the original home of the University of Kentucky basketball team. Now they play downtown at Rupp Arena. It's a pretty building though. And man, it is really nice in this uh, Patrick, yeah, it is gorgeous here. Matthew either was commenting that I knew a lot about sports or that I'm already winded after walking like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I did not major in phys ed, although I'm a huge sports fan and I did a lot of intramural leagues, uh, football and ultimate frisbee. There's a cool University of Kentucky Wildcat sculpture. And there's a helicopter flying over the Patterson office tower. That's where a lot of the Arts and Sciences Administration is in some classes. Let's go ahead and walk down this tree-lined sidewalk. Oh. And this is the art museum over here, I forgot to tell you. And also the Performing Arts Center. And there's a cool sculpture right there. Penelope, that was a Kentucky Wildcat. There's a lot of cats around this campus. So if we hang a left right here, we'll go to the university president's house. This is the music building right here next to the Performing Arts Center. Yeah, Fahad, I'm so glad that you're getting a chance to see campus virtually. Up here on the hill is the Whitehall Classroom Building. That's where a lot of undergraduate large classes, kind of basic education requirements are taught. I spent a lot of time there as a freshman and sophomore. Matthew, this isn't your, your idea of the good old USA? Well, Kentucky is a little bit different, I think, than most of the rest of the country. The southeast in general is different. There's the office tower. Oh, and you can walk back down this way to the back side of the student center. We'll keep going up this way. <laughs> yeah, Karina, 
I understand. I understand. OSU is a good school, but I'm always going to have Kentucky pride. So I'll show you the old library. Now it's got special collections in it, but it's where I had to study my first three years at university and the place was like a dungeon. So confusing. They had books just stuffed to the, to the rafters. What's up, Jane? Welcome. All right, so this building right here is the old library. And it's a cool building. They just uh, ran out of space. We'll go this way first, then I promise we're going to the Kim Fizz building. But I want to show you the new library. It's pretty dang impressive. And this is the Whitehall classroom building. You can see just these Adirondack chairs scattered throughout campus for students to relax in. All right, we can see quite a bit from here. So this is the gen ed classroom building for undergrads. That is the main administrative building for the university. This one is advising. And this one, which is a really cool building, this is engineering. And I, I really, really like this building. Kind of looks like an old industrial coal plant. Never hard feelings, Karina, never. We don't do hard feelings here. I used to sit out here and feed squirrels in between classes. Nah. Who am I kidding? I used to sit out here and feed squirrels instead of going to classes. <laughs> oh, you can see they've got some things for hammocks up here too now. That's a new addition. Jane, the Wi-Fi is good on campus. It used to be non-existent. You used to have to go to a coffee shop back in the day, but now there's good solid campus and great cell phone signal. All right. Now, things may have changed a little bit lately, um, but I'll show you what I believe to be the Kim Fizz building, although Kim Fizz may have expanded a little bit over the years, but I'll show you. This is uh, straight down here, the Funkhauser building. Yeah, Matthew, uh, my age is no secret. I, I put my face on this channel. You guys know I am not a kid. Got a little gray in the beard. And I've earned it. All right, so President's house right here. Kim Fizz building right here. So we'll walk right through and walk around the Kim Fizz building. And this is the Science and Engineering Library. And it looks like they're redoing this parking lot right now, but normally there's a big giant parking lot back here. Use entrance in front of building, okay. But this is Kim Fizz, the big sprawling building. And this is uh, the university president's house. I always thought it was cool that they live right on the edge, of, right on campus. <laughs> Matthew was a student before the invention of the printing press. the movable type. 
It's kind of a mod glass and metal building with a whole bunch of uh, accessories that I never understood, which I assume have to do with all the equipment inside. Like I have no idea what that thing is. I assume it's necessary though. Tons of places to lock up your bicycle. And then this is the main entrance to the building right here. It's probably locked. Yeah, it's a good looking building. I enjoy taking classes here. And it's been updated a few times. One of the more. It does have some old roots. So I think the further you go into the building, the more kind of old hallways and old classrooms you'd find. But this is Kim Fizz. The particle accelerator? Fascinating. Yeah, it looks like it's some kind of cooling situation, but that's neat. Fascinating. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Let's go look at When they built this, it revolutionized my experience as a student. I almost wanted to stay in school longer than I did and take another year or go to grad school just because of how good the library is. But when I was a university student, I had no money at all. I was flat broke, like completely, completely broke. This used to be a road, by the way, they're changing it all into pedestrian zone. But yeah, I, I worked about 50 hours a week at a local restaurant just so I could afford my tuition. And I got so cash strapped at times that I was uh, not only uh, donating blood, but selling CDs. I was going to yard sales and I was buying things and then reselling them on eBay. <laughs> Fahad, it's no problem and welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you got a chance to see it and we're glad to have you here. We do a lot of walks from around Kentucky. Jane, I just saw somebody in a cap and gown. So I think graduation is this week because I think they were coming around campus taking pictures. All right, you guys ready for the new library? It's right up here. It could not be more different than the old one. It is amazing. And it's been here a long time now. So they built this thing in I think the year 2000 so it's 22 years old it just I love the design I think it's held its design very well um, looks looks new still so we'll come at it from this angle it's a little bit nicer from this side oh, I gotta go check out this truck look at these things this is a brand new kind of truck that they're selling you guys know I love trucks this one is called a Hyundai Santa Cruz, and it looks like a Subaru Brat. Look how cool this thing is. I really want one. Isn't that neat? Oh man. Oh man, I want one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But then I'd have to give up my truck. It's so impractical and it's so cool. That looks like, uh, I don't know. I love, I love the way that car looks. All right, here we go at golden hour. 
the University of Kentucky Library. Oh. Wow. Glorious. It is glorious. When they built this thing, I was just blown away. It was the nicest thing on campus by a wide margin. And I used to live right here, but it was not that building. It was a shitty old, excuse me, pardon my French. <laughs> it was a crappy old building. Sorry, I tried to run a family channel here. Um, yeah, it was a crappy old building. <laughs> but this building is so giant. Jane, you worked your way through university with no car? Yeah, yeah. I had a car. It was a hand-me-down from my parents. It had 200,000 miles on it. It was a Plymouth Sundance. They don't even make Plymouths anymore. Look at this building. I just love the architecture. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, I uh, lived in, I rented a room, literally just a room, for $125 a month. And I shared a bathroom with strangers. I got to know them, but they were strangers when I first signed up. And shared a kitchen as well had a futon and a mini fridge and a microwave and i thought i was hot stuff living on my own but two thousand years ago this thing would have been a wonder of the world so out of touch with rental prices right now um, I would say near campus uh, on campus is very expensive of course paying to the university to live in the dorms uh, off campus an apartment I would say probably 800 to 1200 but really I think you should do some research because my knowledge is so obsolete right now I haven't rented in a long time and I paid for my first two bedroom I paid 600 so I'm thinking that with inflation maybe a thousand but I'm not sure I mean there's a, there's a wide range I'm sure there's a wide range of prices and proximity to the university I think probably makes everything either more expensive or more in need of a little fixing upping. <laughs> so uh, at nine o'clock, we have a premiere of a 4K dash cam video driving through horse country. So if you're not doing anything at nine o'clock, please join. I think you're really gonna like that video. It was a beautiful day. I shot that the day that we went out strawberry picking last week. Looks like somebody left their bike for a while. Uh, so this was not a complete tour of campus because we stopped and we're heading back. If we kept going, you'd see more dorms. You'd see the um, Johnson Center, which is a really modern gym and workout facility. You'd also see the football stadium and also the medical center with a ton of hospitals and the med school and the dentistry school. 
We didn't see the Ag School, which is out by the football stadium. There's just a ton. It's a big, we didn't see the law school. There's just a lot to this place. It is a massive, massive university. And I really enjoy it. I always wonder if I would have liked going to like a really small school where you know everybody. But I, I kind of enjoyed the, the big city feel of going to UK. Uh, over here is all fraternities and sororities. So that's the kind of Greek village area. You guys want to see the church I got married in? Fahad, I feel the same way. Yeah, I've, I've always preferred a big campus with a lot of events and a lot of events. Lots of choices. Constantly meeting new people. All right, I'll show you the church I got married in. It's up here on the right. I got married when I was 21 years old. To my high school sweetheart. Some of you have met her in the chat. She comes on here sometimes. Um, her username is a uh, bit of a wife, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, we met each other when we were in high school and we went to different colleges, but we kept dating and we got married the year we graduated from college. And we actually just celebrated our anniversary not too long ago. So, if she watches this back, happy anniversary, honey. She's not gonna watch this back, by the way. <laughs> is bit my married name <laughs> uh wander is yeah she took my she took my my name when we got married she's now uh, <laughs> uh i love it one last look at the library goodbye library so yeah we just celebrated our 21st wedding anniversary So if you guys like the channel, I've got good news for you. Once I start something, I stick with it. Big on commitment, big on loyalty. Howdy, 25 years young. Lions. Those are some kind of weird looking lions though. Honestly. I love lions, but eh. Those are some budget lions. <laughs> you gotta spend up if you're gonna buy lions. Oh, Penelope, happy anniversary.
Yeah, Daryl, walking through that car. All right, there it is. See it? Little chapel right there. We'll walk over to it. That's where I got married. Right on campus. We had both just graduated, literally that day. We had made a promise that we weren't gonna get married until we were both graduated from university. And so the day we graduated, we got married. This is it, right on the other side of the stained glass right here. I've got a picture looking out the other way. This is a real walk down memory lane, goodness. No, wait, this is Rose Street. This is not memory lane, this is Rose Street. <laughs> What's up, Wanjafo, how are you? Memory lane is somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, here's the fine arts building. That's the music school and painting and such. Sculpture studios. Actually, I think they moved the sculpture studios. Audi, you know what? It was nice. Very small gathering. It was a good, it was a beautiful, beautiful wedding. I'm biased, but I thought it was beautiful. Wanjafo, are you well? Good to see you. Eternity. Indoor sorority, I have no idea. Just rocking that scooter. We'll walk down that uh, street with all the bars again. See if we can get anybody to holler at us. And then we'll walk back to the truck. Just in time for anybody who wants to watch the premiere tonight to do so. It's a really pretty drive through horse country, which for my money is one of the prettiest drives in the country. I think there are probably more spectacular places to drive but horse country is just a different kind of pretty. This is the alumni building up here. Not the one there in front of, but the next one. And there's the Performing Arts Center right over here. Awesome, Penelope. Well, count me in too, I'll be there. <laughs> and this is the Student Career Center here. You too can grow up to be a YouTuber with your University of Kentucky education. What is the sunset time? About 8.15. <laughs> I think we're in uh, sunset time right now. It's just behind those buildings over there. Oh, you're welcome, Joanne. Thanks for watching and thank you. That is the campus police station. Believe it or not, doesn't look like a police station, but it is. All right. 
We're gonna walk back down the Avenue of Champions here, formerly known as Euclid Avenue. And we'll walk by all the bars again. So good to see everybody tonight. I'll try to squeeze a walk in, see how work goes. There's the Art Museum and Performing Arts Center, a better view. And a good view of Memorial Coliseum again. Audi, thanks so much. And Daryl and Katrina, I saw you here too. Uh, really appreciate what you guys do as mods. Thank you so much. There you go, there's the sunset. So, 8.20 Eastern Time. Howdy, are you? POV and here and who else? And Audi has his own channel too. I'm biased, I think we have the best community going here. I'm a bit of a wanderer and I, I love spending time with you guys. <laughs> That's a different channel, Matthew. Yeah, I was trying to think of the right way to explain the channel. Oh, Roy's channel. Roy is a friend of the channel. Roy is a good dude. That's awesome. Watched a really cool sunset stream from his channel the other day. I mean, a sunset over the Pacific Ocean in the San Francisco. It, it's got nothing on a sunset over this street right here, but it was nice. POV streamer, that's right. Penelope, thanks. We, we love having you here and yeah, it's always a good time. We try to keep it happy here. Life's too short. We just got to enjoy ourselves and be nice to others. That's about as deep as we're going to get tonight. This place is empty. There's the campus Starbucks right here. cross here and I can walk you through these dorms. Yeah, howdy, being a mod for AK would be a good deal. He's one of the, the OGs, one of the real deal, big biggest streamers. One of the first walking streamers that I discovered and that I think a lot of people discover.
That's pretty. Cool building. All right, I think we'll go up this way now. Yeah, they did. Lila wanted to know, did they outsource? They outsourced a lot of stuff, honestly. They outsourced the bookstore. They outsourced the dining services. I, I think, you know, on some level it's a shame, but on some level it's like, yeah, you know, focus on being good at educating people. Let, let other people who do that for a living take care of selling books and all that. I did read an article the other day about a um, a university in Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky University, which we haven't visited yet together, but they are um, paying for all books for all students. So as long as you go there, you never have to buy a textbook. So I thought that was a pretty neat perk to convince people to go to that university over Isn't this neat? It's really cool back here. This is where I would want to live. Right next to campus, right next to all the rest. Some nice green space. Yeah, I thought so too, Penelope. It's a good deal. It's Patterson Hall, one of the oldest buildings here on North Campus. I studied philosophy in that building. Solved all the mysteries of the universe as a young college lad had it all figured out all right so we've got about five more minutes here we'll wrap up at just about an hour exactly And I'll thank you properly at the end of the stream. But thanks, everybody. Yeah, lots of bricks. It's definitely a style that they were going for up here. got hit by this tiny little car here but I don't think it would have hurt us I think it would have bounced off of us all right head on down here we parked just past these restaurants
we're almost back at the truck. Past the pizza restaurant, past the bicycle shop, and we're there. Yeah, Penelope, back to the beast. That beast is thirsty right now, drinking $4 gasoline. Killing me. But I knew that when I was getting into it. Pedal power, almost there. Yari, you are right on time. We're ending. <laughs> well, good morning, Yari. Good morning. This is uh, the spot where campus meets the historic part of downtown. We kind of transition away from colleges and into law offices and old historic homes. Yeah, Leela, not gonna lie, I'm rethinking the beast too, but uh, I think I'll keep it. But it is tempting. They, Ford has a new truck. It gets 40 miles per gallon, and it costs $25,000. So, it's also sold out, and they won't sell any more 2022s because they're all spoken for. Crazy. It's called the Ford Maverick. All right, there's the beast right up there. You guys, you made it to the end of the stream. Achievement unlocked. Good job. Good job. All right, let's flip this around and say thank you properly. Boom. You guys, thank you so much for coming. It was awesome hanging out with you tonight. A uh, great walk around University of Kentucky's campus. We will see you next time. Please, please, please make sure to like and subscribe if you did, in fact, like the video. And subscribe if you'd like to see some more. But uh, thanks so much, you guys. Great to see you. And thanks for being a part of the channel. See you at the premiere tonight. Bye, everybody.